Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Pocket Final Fantasy Tactics Advanced for the Game Boy Advance. This will be part 31 of our Let's Play. In the last episode we fought the Fire Falga Bird something, I don't remember. Um, but she wasn't that tough. Now we have Friend Trouble, something about lowlands and mountains, and Wanted in Desert Dwellers. Maybe we go after the wanted. Hmm. I don't know. Actually, what I will do is we're going to go down here, check out this stuff. In case one of these is the lowlands that they're talking about. Nope. Lucia Pass. Nope. Okay, then I guess we head up to Elut Sands. I oh, yeah, we have to help Nubswood too. Ah, we'll do that. Shouldn't take too long. We just gotta clean up some, yeah, turtles. Clean up a few turtles. And what, like a Beastmaster or something? No ice, no techniques. Oh, tech A abilities. Skill is ninja skill. Oh, okay, so nothing that says tech. Uh, which I think is fighter, right? I think it's like fighter tech? Maybe? I don't remember. Uh, we'll bring Thompson. He'll be our healer. So hang on, what was it? No ice. No ice, no tech. That should be fine. Like, even if we can't use fighter stuff, I guess we'll just have to kill them normally. Like, what a... what a idea. Wow, one damage. Uh, Tennessee, you do not hit incredibly hard, do you? Yeah, you, you could do better. Alright, so no ice, so we just use thunder instead. Zap! Noise. Yeah, so is... I'm pretty sure fighter is tech. Yeah, fighter tech. So we can't use that. We'll just have to hit him for 105 damage normally. Wow, and he dodged. Oops, so did we. Guess in the grand scheme of things, that didn't really matter. Okay, now hopefully... So we have a blue mage, which means we need to get hit by things like Matra Magic. So I'm really hoping that maybe we do get hit by Matra Magic here. And it has to be the blue mage, which is why it's really annoying. I think they usually recommend... Wow, this turtle's really... Really good at dodging. Um, I think that's why I normally recommend getting a Beastmaster and a blue mage. And then you take control of the enemy beast and then use the ability on your own person. That way you can guarantee it. Ooh, we could learn Resonate. No? Okay. He didn't learn to resonate. That's a shame. Maybe you can't. I do not remember what blue magic you can learn. Or maybe he could have learned it, but he got disabled. Which disabled is his ability? I'm not sure. Yeah, because he's not using damage to MP either. So... Yeah, maybe he would have learned resonate if it had missed. Because I think you have to be targeted by it? I don't think you necessarily need to actually take the hit. Like, citation heavily needed there. I do not for the life of me remember. Alright, come on, just keep dumping the magic downrange. Since the only one that can do any damage is me, apparently. Although, if they're all stuck together like that, I can probably use um, St. Cross. Oh god, he con-shelled me. Because chivalry is not tech. So we can probably use... Wow, how much does this do? Ooh! <laughs> That's a lot of damage. That's fine, we'll just do St. Cross. 
Maybe we hit two. Maybe we don't. Boom, we did. Wow, he hit me for 23, though. That's still pretty high. Uh, honestly, you might as well just jump up here and stand there. Maybe I should have actually picked better people if I wanted to ensure this was over quickly. But I'm not that smart. Can you learn how to just get smacked by a turtle? He, he can. Spoiler alert, he absolutely can. Ah, uh, just shoot him for one damage. I mean, Blackout's probably more worth it, but he does get decent XP out of it, so I can't really fault that. Oh my god, go up on the... <gasps> he did. Oh, you idiot. Like, he's gonna go up there, there's a good fair chance the Beastmaster's gonna hit me in the back. And then I can just jump in the middle of them all on Saint's Cross. Or, I mean, I can just do it now. Guess that works too. Just lightning everyone. Nice, Thompson. That's some good XP there. Well, 10. 10's not much considering you just hit three people. Oh wow, no, these guys are garbage though. Oh, that's fun. You're a time mage as well. Uh, that's a good, but I feel like he's about to get killed by me. Yeah. Like, I appreciate that hustle, but he's super dead. Yeah, okay. These guys are only, like, level 12, so they're really low-leveled. Even some of my guys are under-leveled. They're really under-leveled. Eat it, damage to MP. Although for a white slash black mage, it's actually kind of bad. I'm just going to throw this out here. You'd think something that caused blind would be sort of like the opposite to normal attacks. Like normally, attacks have a better chance to hit from behind. You'd think a blinding attack would do more, like have a better chance to hit from the front, right? Because you need to be able to see their eyes to actually hit them. Just putting that out there. That would have been an interesting little, like, twist on the gameplay. Because as it stands, you just use them the same way you use everything else. What are you doing? Yeah, okay. No, look, that was pretty effective. Oh my god, do I just go here and Saints Cross? Just kill my own guy? Like, it does 99, 55, and 100. Oh, but he's got damage to MP, so he's only gonna take two damage. Oh, that's perfect. What a play! What an ultra play! Oh my god. That's brutal. What an accidental power play, holy shit. See, this is why damage to MP is both really annoying to field against, and really, like, you- uh, what's a good word for? Like, it's got a lot of utility. Very utilitarian to have. It opens up so much just like self or team damage and stuff because if they have one MP, it effectively does nothing. So if it's an enemy, you really need to wear them down. And if it's a friendly, then you can usually get away with whatever you want. Uh, good luck with that. And it ain't going to save you unless you reverse my magic damage with my physical damage. Oh, wow, I actually hit. Shit. Although, I guess, to be fair, I don't have that much MP left on anyone. Although, once again, this is going to do 100 damage, so... 
My health doesn't really matter here. You're you're super dead. But still, okay. No, I can I can admire that play. You know? If he had a couple of extra people, that would be a good way to wipe out my main character. Except that I've got the angel ring on, so I would just raise. Not as useful. Okay, Thompson, you mastered Cura. What the hell was I doing with you? Oh no, wait, you're the, um... You're the Morpher. Right. Uh, so I need to give you something else. Does that teach you anything? No, you know what? Just... Use the Mithril Staff and learn the combo. I don't think you really have any other choices at the moment, so that's probably okay. Okay. Elute Sands, are you the place? No, so it must be the Jaror Sands. Oh um, my... Okay, good, he disappeared. I was gonna say, like, I don't want to have to move into his territory. Ah, uh, you butthole! All right, well, we'll check out the Salika Wood. Oh, it's probably the Kudik Peaks. That's probably where that other thing is. Okay, now this is a wanted mission, so it's probably legitimately hard. They normally are pretty tough. Uh, no Hunt, no Petrify. Shouldn't be a problem. Uh, we'll bring Lucas. He hasn't had much use for a while. We'll bring Anton, he's kind of fun. Definitely bring Martha. We're definitely bringing Willy, and I guess we're gonna bring Bertha for the heals and whatnot, even though she's pretty highly leveled. Because I assume I'm gonna need, like Willy will probably get some good, good steelies on here. Got anything fun here? Just white magic. Red magic, we just poison someone. Wow, he has 180 health though. So this is gonna be a bit tough. If that's anything to go by, I mean, he is their main fighter, like he's a warrior class. Yeah, but 100, okay. So they probably are averaging like 14 to 15. Probably 14 for the chumps and 15 for the bosses. Nice. It's actually a good move. Poke. It works. Alright. Let's see what he's got. Actually, sorry. I should have to see what he's got from here. Got anything good? Ah, oh, you got a sword breaker. Which I feel like that's the thing that teaches you steel weapon. It is! Ah, oh, if only I already had a sword breaker and I could steal his weapon. Damn it. Uh, so mobilize him? Jesus, that is a low chance to hit. Okay, uh, in that case, we're gonna go over here. Then we're gonna try and do that. God, if they steal one of these weapons I can't replace, I'm gonna be really pissed. 113, yeah, level 14. Okay, so it's probably 15 for the big guys. Ooh, nice. Earth Render. Oh, I want that ability. Very useful. Again, kind of like, uh, was it Chocobo Rush? This guy I'm a little worried about. Because jugglers have a lot of, like, status effect versatility. Uh, like, knife. Oh, sorry, dagger. Very annoying. Does decent damage as well. But, like, firebomb or something would be really bad. Ah, she wasn't disabled, though. Uh, I probably can't air render you from there. Could get the other guy, though. My soul sphere. Damage to MP. Damage to MP. Uh, just go up here and stab. 
Just hope for a hit. Ooh, at 28%. Maybe not. Maybe we haste somebody. Actually, yeah, that's a play. Hang on, we'll just haste, uh... Someone that can do damage. Probably... Martha? Actually, no, hang on, we'll haste Bertha. It's gonna be nice to have a healer that acts, like, twice as often. I don't remember what the exact, like, stat is for haste. Sort of how much it, it speeds you up, but... It's gotta be a decent amount. Okay, I guess we're gonna just try and poison both of you. So you get the warrior get extra poisoned. Okay, or not. Or we just miss. That's fine. Uh, now we are gonna use what blitz on you just to make sure you don't get away. Because I bet you your dodge was still quite high, so I'm not gonna allow that. You're just gonna be dead. Goodbye. No weapon stealing for you. Now, I'm pretty sure Moogles can't learn life, because they can't be white mages, so I don't really have to worry about them coming back to life, except with items, which would be a bit annoying. Oh, level 15, nice. Let's have a level 15 uh, time mage. It's kind of fun. You can't slow me, but you can slow Willy, so I guess that's still pretty annoying. Because I need Willy to get in there and steal some shit before I kill them all. Oh yeah, they have a warrior. Right. It's finally his turn. Uh, you're going to move in and whirlwind, I suppose? Oh no, you're going to body slam. Interesting. Is that going to kill Anton? Okay, yeah, it did. That, that makes more sense. The AI doesn't often pick the self-damaging attacks unless they are going to get a kill. Okay, go over here. And we might just actually life him back. If only because he's a good target, apparently. Apparently everyone just wants him dead, so they'll keep trying to murder him. Plus, got to flex on them because I can do that and they can't. Look at this death sickle. Damn near a guarantee, or like a double shot. I might actually death sickle you. Just call it like an insurance policy. Make sure he isn't gonna sort of get away with it. If he's still alive after three turns, he's guaranteed dead. And they can't bring him back because they don't have anyone that can. So, also a powerful move. Ouch. Body damage is pretty rough. Okay, now we start throwing out some red magic. We'll just throw out like a thunder. Yeah, it'll hurt everybody. Zippity zap! Actually, wow, well, you two are fucked, because I think... Doesn't my main character go before them? What are you doing? Oh, he's throwing a smile! Nice! Okay. I did put your two, like, important characters together, though. Not often what you want. Because, like, what's the play here with the Time Mage? Uh, sure. The AI really seems hung up on Quarter as, like, an offensive attack, and it's really not. It's not very good. Okay, we'll just smack him around. Templar versus, uh, Warrior. Um... It's poison? Poison both of them if we can. I might end up making... 
uh, our Templar into a Dragoon as well. Because Dragoons are big hitters. And having, like, someone that's very anti-mage versus... Oh, sorry, and hits really big. Is probably... I think it'll be a really good combination. It could be really scary. Because he'll be able to deal with, like, most people. Just normally. And then in addition, he'll be able to deal with mages specifically. Oh my god, he died from the poison! Yes! Oh, excellent. Oh. Okay. I didn't think that would actually end it. I thought I had to get both. God, if I'd known I was gonna just beat him with one, I wouldn't have done it. Ooh. I don't think that teaches you anything, though. Pretty sure. Are you actually learning anything? Hey, you're learning silence. How about you? Hey, you're learning aura, right? Okay, I just wanna... Oops. See... If that actually teaches you anything. I'm pretty sure the Spring Staff... Uh, teaches Kuraga. Ah, it teaches life break. Excellent. Yeah, is that what the spring staff does? Yeah, it does teach Kiraga. Ooh. Ooh. Mwah. That's gonna be a potent heal. Uh, I don't want to risk going into a square with those idiots that are gonna walk in. So let's just, yeah. We'll dance around a bit. Great. Who the hell cares? Is it Kudik Peaks? No. Is it Corringwood? No. Where the hell is this mission? Oh. I think it ran out. It should have done a pop-up to say that I failed it, but maybe it doesn't. Uh, anything new? Oh, here we go. The Spirit Stone. Uh, Minstrel I'd not seen before was in here the other day, and according to him, the Red Wings boss has got access to powerful magic. Apparently the only thing that can get past his defenses is something called the Spirit Stone, a magical stone made by alchemy from a sigil. Seems like bullshit to me, Tom, but we'll see. Okay, can I do this? I don't have Silver Rule. Right, Fable Fake. Uh, Ragnarok. I need a Bent Sword and Rainbow Eye. I definitely don't have either of those. Matterite, pretty sure we can definitely get. You know what, Tennessee? You're in, because you're kind of useless, and I need to teach you some abilities before you've got any sort of utility at all. Uh, seeking Silver. Oh, is this going to be Silver Ill? Ah, it is. Excellent. Excellent. Give. Give me this. Yep, Phil, you're in. Oh, actually, no, not Phil. Because Phil needs to actually get into combat and learn things. Phil needs to goddamn learn a thing or two. Can't just have him traipsing around all over the country learning nothing. Alright, and then... Cheap Laughs is with a bombshell, right? We don't have that. Refurbishing, we don't have a broken sword. Uh, fashion World, we definitely don't have Chocobo Skin or Magic Cotton. Spirit of Boy, that was a dictionary, which I don't think we have. Help Dad. Uh, shooting Lessons. Gives you a bombshell. So I'm guessing just like some archer will do good at this. Unfortunately, I don't really have one right now. Oh, I just sent him away on a mission. You know what? Take Willy. He's great. He throws shurikens like the best person in the world. You got no idea. Sweet talk. Speech trainer. Ooh, to get ninja gear. Wow, dispatch for 10 enemies though. Shit, so that's two battles basically. Uh, Roland, you do it. Have fun. And then Ku's break. Ku, the star of our royal zoo, has escaped and Zuki blames himself. An adventure novel should cheer him up. 
I don't have Runba's tail. He would give me the bent sword, though. Ooh, reserve mission. Elder Gusto and Vermilion. I don't think I have, yeah, any of that. Weaver's War. Uh, Crusade Alloy and a Blood Apple. We don't have a Blood Apple, right? Oh no, we don't have either. Fair enough. I need an Insignia. Feather Badge, Delta Fang. Don't think we have those either. Crusite Alloy. Think we can make that? Oh, no, we don't have any of that. Okay, then a Golden Clock. And the Jaror Sands. We will take that mission. Because it's the next main mission. Boom. We'll check the shop. I don't expect anything new here. Although, hang on. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I don't think this will get updated at any point in the future. Maybe... Actually, it's not true. Maybe it gets updated after we get all the crystals. Oh, you... Asshole, because now I'm trapped in here. Whichever way I move, he's probably going to move the same way. Ah, free Baguba. Uh, Mage's sisters, that sounds tough. Um, I will take it, but I, I don't, oops, I don't think we're doing it. Trade items. No. Okay. Bum up. And I'm sure you don't have anything special here. I mean, you got circlets, which we haven't bought any of, but that's mainly because they're kind of shit and very unnecessary. Yeah, okay. Whatever. I'll just resign myself to fighting this enemy. Oh, they didn't chase me. I don't know why. They normally would. Okay, I'm just going to run around for a minute and hopefully get some of those dispatch missions done. The danger, of course, being that some of my territories can end up under attack. Which would be a bit of a pain. Oh, I don't need rumors. Give me missions. Anything new? Uh, powder worries? Ah, uh, it's one that needs a gun, I wish we don't have. I uh, could go on another metal hunt. Sure. Can probably always use more of that. Randolph, you're in. Off you go. Have fun. Find me more metal. Love your work. Yeah, okay. We can get the Mycidia alloy pretty soon, though, because we're going to get Silveril. Nice. Love your work. Ooh, we got a nice new katana. Katana. Ooh. Do you kind of want a Moogle, actually? Maybe. Nice, we have a new bombshell. Oh, wait, and we got a free angel ring. That's pretty good. Don't know who we're going to put that on, but I'm sure we'll find someone. Uh, no. No. We, we've long passed the point where we need Vanguard. Ah, uh, wait, not not the shop. Not the shop. The pub. Food for truth. Choco Gratin we don't have. Who am I? Two magic medals. Yeah, we only have one magic medal. Powder worries, that's the gunner one. Inspiration. And he's Runba's tail. My city alloy. We still haven't got the silver really yet, have we? Yeah. Valuable fake. That's the one that needs a bent sword. Cheap last. That's the bombshell. Actually, hang on. What else did that give us? Oh, god damn it. Oh, the Tonberry lamp. <gasps> give. Give. This needs to be done. No fuck ups. Tennessee, you're in. You son of a bitch. You're in. I believe in you. 
Uh, is there anything else we needed? We got a bombshell. What's the other thing we got? No, wait, helping Dad gave us the bent sword, right? No, what gave us the bent sword? This mission requires flying broken sword. Yeah, okay, we don't have that. Hmm. Can I see what mission items we have? Yeah, I can. Oh, we have a rusty sword. Oh, we have a lot of adamantite. Jesus Christ. Okay, I don't know what we picked up. Uh, so what are we running at the moment? So that's done in 10 more enemies. That's done in 4 more days. 13 and 5. Okay, so we'll wander around for 5 more days. So, 1. Sure. 2. 3. 4. Oh, you little champion. Oh, we got some white fangs, too. Don't need them, but... It's there. Boom. Yes, Tonberry Lamp, finally. We don't have that mission anymore, but we have the lamp. And that's what matters. Uh, no, we don't need you. I love you, I do, but we don't really need or want you. Okay, right. Any new rumours since we've completed a couple of missions? Negative. Fair enough. Friend trouble. Okay, so that's the stupid lowlands one. So we'll probably be able to find where that is in a minute. Come on out. That's jerky, which we don't have. Performer. Rabbit tail. I don't think we have it. New. No. Uh, we don't have that for sure. Food for Truth. Chocolate Gratin, we don't have. Who am I? Magic Metals, we don't have. We don't have a Gunner. Runbus Tail, we don't have. My City Alloy, that one we do now have. Okay, Phil loves it, but again, Phil can't really go on missions. Phil, Phil needs to fight things. He can't, we can't just be sending him away all the time. Uh, Valuable Fake? No. Refurbishing? No. Fashion World? We definitely don't have that. Okay. But we can get the Silver Rule now. Right, so I just want to go here and see if... Ha! Ah, there's Friend Trouble. Okay, good. So that's what we're going to do at the start of the next episode. But guys, thank you very much, everyone, for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more content from me, the Aussie Nerd, feel free to subscribe to my channel and check out the other videos on there. If you think you know any friends who might enjoy my content, make sure you share a video too with them. I really appreciate it. And finally, if you want to leave any hints, tips, tricks, feedback for videos, or you just want to say hi, make sure you do so in the comment section down below so I can see it. And I'll see all of you guys in the next episode. Bye.